What's up, YouTube? It's your boy LC the Phenom back with some more of that God of War Ragnarok content. Uh, I'm gonna start going through the boss battles I have recorded and just putting them up here. Uh, some of the stuff y'all probably gonna find hilarious because I was getting my ass whipped by a fair few of the bosses. But uh, on this one, it's the Valkyrie Queen. This is after you finish with the main game and completed the side missions with the Inherion. So uh, let's go. Mm. So like when you get to this area uh, in Muspelheim after you've completed uh, killing all the remaining Aherion from Asgard, you unlock this boss fight. And uh, in hindsight, looking back on it, this was probably nowhere near the hardest boss fight I had on there. Uh, that also may be because I was heavily under leveled for <laughs> a lot of the ones I did, especially some of the berserker ones. But even with that, uh, I kind of got my ass kicked a fair few times on this. As you can see, just like most of the bosses on here, she hits like a freight train and has she's a sponge for damage. I would even go so far as to say she's, uh, this fight probably wasn't even as hard as the Valkyrie fights from 2018, God of War. Having said that, y'all yeah, see <laughs> the hands I'm catching. It's actually fun looking back on this because, uh, though I recorded most of my gameplay of God of War Ragnarok, I didn't do it in the traditional way I normally would, especially, you know, since I'm trying to get my channel to, channel to grow. But, uh, I definitely can say I had way more fun playing it this way than I did when I was playing Horizon. And that may be the way I do story mode games from now on. Just an experiment. As you should see, like, a bunch of the stuff she does can pretty much end you in one hit. That's why like, I've skipped over a lot of the main, a lot of the fight parts of the fight just because I didn't want the video to last too long. I just wanted to show y'all how many times I lost to her when I was, like, on the verge of victory. <laughs> Fred didn't come in and help him that time. But as I said, this is probably how I'm going to be doing my story mode playthroughs from now on just because it allows me to still enjoy the game to the fullest like how I want to and then I can just come back and record the voices over it. I, I made the executive decision though that I'm not going to put my full playthrough of God of War Ragnarok on here just because I mean, there's a million of them online in a way. Uh, and I feel at this point, it would really make sense to do a whole series on it. But definitely when New Paint Game Plus comes out later this year, I'll definitely be doing a new Game Plus run through of it and trying to 100% the game as fast as possible. Oh, that one hurt to watch again. <laughs> I had her right there. Okay, if I remember right, this is probably 
the last fight, the one that I actually beat her. I started to figure out her pattern is pretty good. I was playing maybe a little more cautiously than I should have on here, but I'm glad I did. Like, in my opinion, she's like, uh, not really even in the top five as far as the hardest bosses on here. I think the hardest one was the Berserker duo. And also the one you fight in Vanaheim that summons the poison enemies to help. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember their names. I have to go through the go through my footage or either the codex and put the actual on there. Uh, being being said that though, I am going to have those fights posted too sometime soon. Probably in the same format you see now, or I may just shut my big mouth and <laughs> post the video without any commentary. It just depends on what I feel like. You know it's you know it's getting sweaty when you're making them dodges with a pixel of life left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know y'all probably thinking, man, you were like using some really basic attacks against her, and yeah, that's kind of true. What I found from the bosses on here is. It's it's better just to use unless you do something like that and put them in a corner or something. It's better just to uh, <laughs> use attacks that can't be that you can like dodge out of or either go into block out of because some of the some of the animations will leave you in that animation stun and you'll get wrecked by the bosses. Hey, you see them dodges? But yeah, uh, a lot of stuff will leave you in a position to where whoever you're, a lot of these bosses can can kill you after an almost perfect run just because you tried to uh, use a move that takes longer to recover. Uh, this build right here too is mostly the uh, the dragon scale armor and some of Lunda's stuff, uh, some of her lost armor, because it gives a good um, strength and defense boost. You lose a lot in cooldown and vitality by playing this build, but the runic is decently high, and like I said, the strength and defense is ridiculously high. Mm. I think I thought I still had my runic attack for the uh, axe just then. That's what it looks like in a way. Uh, let me do it for some besides Asgard. Every time you do that, I'm in that ass. F fuck Asgard. Every time you mention Asgard, you be in need of an Asgard. Oh, these parries. Uh, I'm, uh, oh, no, ain't no running. <laughs> ain't no running. It's all over it. Parry that. It's like it took that last bit of life forever to go away. And then you get this cutscene afterward. 
you, whose cowardice has left entire realms in ruin. Sister, I know the hate that burns you from within. I have felt those flames, known the comfort of their warmth. I wronged you. And I cannot change that. Never apologize enough for it. But the hatred. Vengeance. You have to let it go. Yes, sister. So that's pretty much it for that boss fight. Um, Y'all welcome to pause this and read it if you want to. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Yeah, we um, get a cool shield round, and I forgot what else is gonna pop up up here in a second when I pick them up. But uh, yeah, the round of obliteration that's pretty cool. And, uh, like this is a really good runic summon I like <laughs> well as y'all can see I pretty much upgraded it immediately upon seeing it I was like wow yeah I needs that but yeah this is a really good runic attack to have it does more than adequate damage and a pretty good de decent stun too so yeah you also can find the Valkyrie Queen's journal over here I think I pull it up on screen immediately. Yeah, I do. So again, feel free to pause and read through that if you want to. So that's about it for this particular fight. As I said, I'm going to be uploading the rest of the boss fights that I have on here. Maybe some story elements and stuff that I found interesting. Uh, I know I've already been uh, showing like how to fight the trolls and just interesting stuff I found around the royal but as I said probably not going to do a full playthrough of it at least until new game plus comes out but definitely going to be putting some content for it especially the boss fights um, having said that I hope you have enjoyed the content and have been enjoying the content if you have make sure to like and subscribe and until the next time stay phenomenal my friends